Hello, good morning and welcome to a Keep It Up Right video and today I'm having a bit of a ride out on a Kawasaki Versus 1000 SE, the new 2019 model. Just picked it up from Crowley Kawasaki, so I've got a bit of time to spare, take it out, have a run. They've uh, let me have a go on this lovely machine, let's go and see uh, what it's all about. Okay, first impressions when I've got on this bike, it's uh, the seating position, as you'd expect with the Versus in any case, it is absolutely lovely, but there's something, it just feels a little bit plush at the moment, it really is, uh, really is nice, it does feel a bit better than uh, the Moss 650 I've got to say. Uh, 1043 displacement on this, same as the uh, normal Kawasaki Z1000, but as you're probably all aware, this model has got one or two, uh, one or two tricks up its sleeve. The throttle is um, right by wire with uh, dual throttle bodies, which is supposed to smooth out the ride. You've got uh, the semi-electronic suspension, which means you can work it all from the control module on the TFT dash, so you can alter your settings as to what you want to do, sport, rain, road, pillion, on your own, all the luggage, you name it, it's all in there. So, yeah, at the moment my initial impressions are this is a lovely piece of kit, it really is. But let's go and take it out for a run and uh, see what we think a little bit later. Just had a little uh, initial ride where I've had to stick to the 30 mile an hour speed limit at the moment, just in the edge of rush hour. Um, the weight of the bike, you just don't notice it, it doesn't feel heavy at all, or it is quite a, a little bit wide bike. I know they've changed the fairing on the front of this and made it a little bit wider, but it's, uh, you don't really notice it, it's actually fine. Um, there is a quick shifter on this, on the gearbox, as well as a slipper clutch. Now, in traffic, uh, the clutch itself is really is nice and light. Uh, the gearbox, uh, some people say it feels spongy, some of the reports I've read. Um, and the initial thing is, yeah it does, but when you actually work your way through the gearbox, it's sort of in a positive way, everything sort of clicks together quite nice. Um, and even at traffic lights when you click it into neutral, uh, straight into neutral, no problems finding that at all. So on the whole, uh, around the town and the houses, it's got a, a lovely set of manners. The throttle on it is really, really nice and smooth. It's, at the moment, I am really impressed with the uh, around the town for such a big bike as well, it uh, can't fault it really. So let's go and have a look at some uh, less restricted roads and see how it behaves there. At the moment I've got the bike set up with um, in road with single rider and luggage. The TFT screen, uh, I've got it set on a white background with black digits. You can also switch it over to a black background with white digits. It's probably a bit better at night time, but for daytime use I don't think you're going to have the problem like you would with a black background with glare. It's quite clear, it really is. You can see everything on it.
I've got the screen set at the lowest setting. Absolutely fantastic. Much better than the older one. There's also, I'll show you when we stop as well, I've walked around the, uh, the adjusters in a far better place than the last one was as well. Seventeen inch wheels. Which is what you tend to get stock and road bikes these days with the seventeen inch uh, one twenty on the front and the one eighty section on the back. If I'm not mistaken, it's shotted with uh, bridge stones and they're behaving really nice. Pickup's lovely. Absolutely lovely. What better way to spend a Thursday morning on a lovely bike like this around the little lanes Coming down this hill there's uh, I'd say on a normal bike you'd probably feel that the suspension would be a little bit wallowy, it would be bouncing a little bit more but you can imagine that this is really working its socks off and controlling everything really nice. The throttle and the power delivery is lovely, the engine is just so smooth. So it is then, Kawasaki versus 1000 SE. Okie doke, obviously we know about the features, with what's going on, but let's have a quick uh, look at the dash. See on start up, and then this is controlled by you've got the mode button. If you press and hold that, it changes it there from road to sport. Press and hold that down, back to road, press and hold it down again. You have to rain, but for today, we're all sticking road made. There you go, information on there, trip, temperatures, uh, quick shifters on, and obviously the fuel and everything else, gear indicator, time. All really nicely laid out. These are your controls, cruise control here. And it is a really, really nice. One thing I do like is this over my other one, as you know in the old Versus, the knobs are on the front round there, whereas inside their ear you can adjust it while you're sat on the bike, tighten them up without having to get off. That's all uh, really nice. Got the quick shifter mechanism down there. Obviously this bike, it does come, this is uh, 
a grand tour, it's not got the panniers on it, but you can see it's got the auxiliary lights on the front and it's got these uh, steering lights that as you turn corners it follows and travels you around. Those are not on the uh, on the lesser spec versus, it's just on the SE. But I've got to say, frame sliders there, hopefully you don't have to use them. And I've got to say, the exhaust looks uh, better than the predecessor, but overall, this bike, I've got to say, it does feel a lot better than the other two bikes. The, uh, the original bike with the up and over headlights and the model before this, it is a completely different bike and for the better as well. I really like this. I've just raised the screen by about 10 mil and it really has knocked the, uh, the wind noise off around my helmet so that uh, I'm all in favour of that you kind of sit in this and it says to you where do you want to go how far do you want to go and I ain't going to stop till we get there The seat has that very, very slight little bit of firmness to it, which is what you want because you don't want a seat for me. I don't like one a seat that's too soft, and it is really, really plush. You know, I've been on it now for a while, and it's saying to me, "Yeah, let's keep going," and I ain't got no intention of stopping. So the 2019 Kawasaki Versus 1000. What do I think? Well, I think it's an absolutely cracking bike. All the electronics on it, the rider aids, the suspension, the throttle, uh, the double throttle valve bodies that they've put in. Uh, it's all silky smooth, the gearbox. People have had criticisms with it being spongy. I think that's in a, there is a very slight bit of sponginess with it, but that's in a positive way. It all works really, really well. Would you get tired of riding this? No. Thank you, sir. And the million dollar question is, does Vicky need to be worried? And my uh, answer is, not half. But that's just me. If you're interested in one of these, I suggest you go down to your local dealership. Thank you very much, sir. If you're interested in one of these, I suggest you go down to your local dealership and go and take one out. So I think you could be pleasantly surprised. Thanks again to the lads at Crowley Kawasaki for 
allow me the time to take this out. I hope you enjoy the video, and if you uh, do, remember always hit the old subscribe button. And do remember, it's just a bit of fun. So until next time, keep it upright. <laughs>